Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Kevin Murphy here tonight. We have the Frontier Red Ox versus uh, Hopkins Academy. It's going to be a excellent game tonight as Frontier, they are one of the tough teams. Uh, the last time, I know they beat Hampshire last week as well as they beat Greenfield uh, in Greenfield. So two good teams they won that against last week. Uh, Hopkins, they're always a good team, and this is a good rivalry that uh, has been going on for a couple years now. Um, so whenever these two teams face, we usually try to cover it because it's a, it's a rivalry one. Um, yeah, and uh, we'll quickly run through Frontier's lineup. Uh, Batting first, leading off for the Red Ox is Nico Fasulo. He's the center fielder. Um, number four, batting second, is Jack Conlon, the third baseman for the Red Ox. Number eight, batting third, is Roscoe Palmer, the shortstop for the Hawks. Uh, number 15 uh, is Wyatt Eads. Uh, he's the left fielder for the Hawks. Uh, in the five hole is number nine, Grayson Luce. He's at second base. Uh, batting sixth, number 10 is Tyler Cusson, the pitcher for the Red Ox. He's on the mound. And uh, in right field, number five is Brady Pareda. Uh, over at first base is Porter Hall. He's number 16. Uh, Caden James is number six, and he's catching for the Hawks. So. Uh, good lineup there for the Red Hawks. On the other side, you have Cooper Beckwith. Uh, he's in center field. Uh, he's uh, and batting second is Chase Earl, the shortstop for Hopkins. He's number seven. Uh, over at first base is Liam Flynn. He's number thirteen. Uh, on the mound in the cleanup spot is Bow or uh, Bo, excuse me, uh, Elson. He's number 11. And uh, oh, catching for the Hopkins uh, Academy is Alex West. He's number four. Designated hitter is Yuki Ashida. He's number five. Um, in the seventh spot is James Fitzgibbons. He's number 15, and he's over at third base. And Dom Aloisi, he's batting eighth, number three, and he's over at second base. Jack Dayach uh, is batting ninth, and he's number eight, as well as the left fielder. So... Here we go. They should be underway very shortly. Um, Frontiers coached by uh, Coach Williams and the Hopkins Academy. They are coached by Dan uh, Vreeland. So they're going to take a quick break and warm up. So will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Kevin Murphy here at the Frontier Baseball Field. It is not, it's very nice weather here tonight on April 22nd. We'd like to quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services, um, Gilmore and Farrell Insurance, and Holiday Pizza. So on the mound again is uh, Tyler Cousin. Comes a pitch. I'll be low and away for ball number one. So one and oh count. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. That'll be strike number one. That evens up the count one and one. Cussin delivers. Fouled into the woods. First lost ball of the game. I'll make it a 1 2 count. And here comes the pitch from Cussin. And strike three called. So looking. So that'll be out number one for the Renox as Cussin does it himself. Now up to bat is Chase Earl. He's over at shortstop for Hopkins Academy. And here comes the pitch from Cussin. Hit right field. Koth by the second baseman. Nice line drive catch by Grayson Luce. And that will bring up Liam Flynn, the first baseman for the Golden Hawks. That'll be strike number one. 0 1 count. And that'll be love for ball number one. That'll even up the count one and one. Here comes the pitch from Cussin. Uh, nice hit into center field. Caught. That'll be out number three. That catch was made by Nico Fasulo. So that'll end the top of the first. We'll go to the bottom of the first inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Kevin Murphy here at Frontier's Baseball Field. Where, after the top of the first inning, Hopkins goes scoreless. So, it'll be up to the Red Hawks to see if we can any score will happen in the first inning. And batting, leading off for the Red Hawks is center fielder Nico Fasulo. We'll see if we can get a base hit here for the Hawks. And on the mound, pitching is Bal Elson. Inside for ball number one. Good eye from Nico Fasulo. 1-0. Count. Elson delivers. That'll be called. Strike one. So Fasula's seen it now. That's it's evened up the count. One and one now. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike number two. One two count. Here comes the pitch, and low for a ball one. That evens it up, oh, it evens up the count two and two. Frontier's bench making some noise now. Here comes the pitch. Base hit over to the shortstop, throws it over for one, for out number one. So Fasul puts it in play, but that'll be out number one. Ground ball over to the shortstop. Over to first base. So that'll bring up a Jack Common. The third baseman for the Red Ox. Here comes the pitch. Called strike one. So no one count. Here comes the pitch from Bow or Bo. And that will be outside for ball number one. Evens it up one and one now. Here comes the pitch. I called strike number two. One and two count. So Jack Conlon's got to protect now. Swinging at anything close. Here comes the pitch. Swinging a miss. Strikeout swinging. So two outs for the Golden Hawks. And that will bring up Roscoe Palmer, the shortstop for the Red Hawks. And the catcher for the Haw Golden Hawks going out to talk to... Uh, Bo Elson. All right. Here comes the pitch from Bo. Now will be in there for strike one. So Palmer's seen it now. comes the pitch right down the middle almost 0 2 counts so Roscoe Palmer's got to swing at anything close now here comes the pitch off speed nice curve that'll be strikeout number two and that will end the inning we will go to the top of the second inning. We'll quickly thank our sponsors, though. We are sponsored by Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Riddell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Uh, you can give my mom and her office a call at 
413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100. Or visit alberthearing.com. We're also sponsored by Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. They do personal and commercial insurance. As well as uh, Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. You're, you're watch we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Kevin Murphy here at the Frontier Baseball Field. The batter is Val uh, Elson. The pitcher for the, it's the mano a mano, pitcher versus pitcher. And I'll be outside for ball one. And that will even up the count, one and one. Swing and a miss. That will be strike number two. One, two count now. Cussin delivers outside for two and two now. Here comes the pitch from Cussin. Low for ball number three. That'll make it full. Three, two, full count. So, uh, Bo Elson will be looking for anything close. Swing and a miss. Strikeout swinging. That'll be Tyler Cussin's second strikeout on the night. And first out of the inning. That'll bring up um, Alex West. And that one goes foul. Uh, Alex West, the catcher for the Golden Hawks. And here comes the pitch from Cussin. And just outside, it looked like. That'll be a ball there. One and one count. Here comes the pitch from Cussin. Off speed outside, two and one. Three and one count, excuse me. Here comes the pitch from Cussin. And fouled out of play. Good job by Alex West staying alive there. That'll make it a 3 2 full count. So he's looking for a base hitter ball four here. Swing at anything close. And strike three looking. And that'll bring up 
Yuki Ishida, the designated hitter for the Golden Ox. I'll be in there for strike number one. Here comes the pitch from Cussin. Called strike two looking. 0-2 oh, count here for Yuki Ishida. Cussin delivers. Off speed a little bit low. One two count. Here comes the pitch from Cussin. Oh, a ball outside evens up the count two and two now. Here comes the pitch. Fouled back into the woods. And another one lost for good. So still two and two count. Here comes the pitch from Cussin. And that'll be a ball outside. Away. I'll make it a 3-2 full count. <laughs> Here comes the pitch. And ball four, so Yuki Ishida gets on base. Good patience from him. So two outs, and that will bring up uh, James Fitzgibbons. He is the third baseman for the Golden Ox. Here comes the pitch. I'll be alone away for ball number one. One and no count. Cousin looks over. He delivers. Grounder down third baseline. That'll be foul. So one and one count here. Here comes a pitch from Fitzge or from Cussin, excuse me. And now below two one count here. Grounder in play over to the third base. Throws it over to first. For out number one, or out number three, excuse me, that will end the top of the first or second inning, and they're going to take a break. So, Louis, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Kevin Murphy here at the Frontier Baseball Field. 
where the score is nothing to nothing after the top of the second inning. Um, we'll go to the bottom of the second where leading off is left fielder Wyatt Eads. <laughs> Frontiers bench making some noise now. Here comes the pitch. Now be in there for strike number one. Again, it's Bo Elson on the mound. Here comes the pitch to Eads. Good job by Eads leading off that high and away ball. So one and one count. Here comes the pitch from Bo. Swing and a miss. Elson delivers, and nice off-speed pitch, and he is able to knock it foul. Here comes the pitch from Elson. Strike three, swing and a miss. So that'll be out number one for the Golden Ox. So that will bring up the second baseman, Grayson Luce, for the Red Ox, and he is a, a lefty. Here comes a pitch from Elson. L low for ball number one. Comes the pitch from Elson. In there for strike number one. Evens up the count one and one now. Comes the pitch. In play, almost like a bunt. Catcher will field it. Throws it over to first for out number two. Job running out there by Grayson Luce, but um, that'll be out number two, and now will bring up Tyler Cusson. He's pitching for the Red Hawks, and it's the pitcher versus pitcher, mono versus mono, as I like to call it. I'll be low for ball number one. See if Tyler can have fun with two. Here comes the first, the, the pitch, and that'll be again almost the same spot. Ball number two. Two zero count. Elson delivers. I'll be in there for strike number one. Two one count. Here comes the pitch. Base hit over to field. Did by the second baseman. Throws it over four out number three. And three up, three down. We will go to the top of the third inning where the score is still zero to zero. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Ben Ro uh, Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Kevin Murphy here at the Frontier Baseball Field. Where after the first two innings, it is still scoreless. Nothing to nothing. So we'll go to the top of the third. Where the batter will be Alosi, Dom, or Dom Alosi, excuse me. Here comes the pitch from Cussin. 2 0 count, I believe. Here comes the pitch. In there for strike number one. Two one count. Hit into right field and catch is made by number five, Brady Pareda. Nice catch by him. So one gone, and that will bring up Jack uh, Dash, the left fielder for the Golden Hawks. Grounder over to shortstop. Palmer fields it, throws it over to Hall. And Hall is off the bag. So. All right. So I'll bring up top of the order, Cooper Beckwith. He is the center fielder for the Golden Hawks. We'll see if Jack takes off to second at any point here. So that will be low and outside for ball one. Here comes the pitch. Inside. Almost hit him. And Cussin throws it over to first for a pickoff attempt. A lot of stuff going on at the Frontier today. We have a baseball game, which we're covering, a softball game, and a track meet as well. So, a lot of things going on on a nice day. Uh, we'll be swing and a miss, strike one, two and one count. Here comes the pitch from Cussin. Pop fly into right field. And he'll make the catch. Those are over to first. Gets away from him. So another nice catch there by Brady Pareda. So two outs. And that will bring up Chase Earl, the shortstop for the Golden Ox. So two outs, man on first. And Earl is the batter. He's the last at bat. Hit, oh, grounder, hit and run, gets by the third baseman and it will be foul actually. So what I've seen those, uh, Earl's last at bat, he had a line drive um, to the second baseman. So no one count. Cussin checks on 
Dom over, or Jack over at first base. Still no one count. And swing and a miss. Strike two. O oh, two count. And Jack takes off. And a hit into left field. Jack will take off the third base. And a nice hit for Chase Earl. Moves the runner over two bases. Nice hit and run. That'll bring up Liam Flynn with the man in scoring position. His last up bat um, was a catch by the center fielder. That'll be in there for strike one. And grounder. Catch Caden James will throw it over to first for out number three. Good job by James. Uh, Caden James, excuse me. And that will end the top of the third inning. We'll go to the bottom of the third. Um, we'll quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Ser Services. They're located at 33 Dell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Um, you can call 413-774-0100. Uh, again, 413-774-0100 or visit albertherring.com. Uh, as well as Gilmore Farrell Insurance. They uh, offer personal and commercial insurance as well as Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT. And... Uh, We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Kevin Murphy here at the Frontier Baseball Field. Where after the uh, the first three innings, we'll go to the bottom of the third where the score is 0-0. Zero to zero. And up to bat is Brady Pareda, the right fielder for the Hawks. And that will be inside for ball number one. Val Olsen is on the mound. Here comes the pitch. Fouled to the backstop. That will even up the count one and one. Here comes the pitch in the dirt. 2-1 count. Uh, 
Here comes the pitch. Inside. Ball number three. Three one count. And Elson delivers. Ooh, swing and a miss. Three, two, full count. Deep hit into left center field. And he'll make the catch. Four out, number one. Catch was made by... Uh, Jack Dash. That will bring up Porter Hall, the first baseman for the Red Hawks. Here comes the pitch. Off speed, and that will be ball number one. Comes the pitch from Bo. Outside for a ball number two. Here comes the pitch. And low and away. Rio count. Here comes the pitch. Ball number four, and Porter Hall will get on base with the walk. That will bring up Caden James, the catcher for the Red Ox. And Porter Hall will be the first. Um, First runner, uh, uh, pers person for the Renox that has gotten on base. So that will be ball number one, uh, high and outside. Elson delivers. Comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. One, two, count. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Swing. Timeout called by Coach Williams. So we'll have a pinch runner. That'll be uh, number 13, Ben Karen. And the batter, top of the order, Nico Fasulo. Comes the pitch. Grounder back to the pitcher. Throws it over to first for out number three. So three scoreless innings. We'll go to the top of the fourth inning. You're watching uh, Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. In the warm-ups, we got a ball that almost took out our uh, audio um, device, so that would have been a little bit rough. Lucked out there, so again, Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Kevin Murphy. All right, so the batter is number 11, Elson Bow. Mono y mano, pitcher versus pitcher here. So that will be uh, the Gold Knox bench making some noise. 1 0 count. Here comes a pitch from Cussin in the dirt for ball number two. 2 0 count. Here comes the pitch. And there for strike number one. Here comes the pitch. Good eye there by Bo. Comes the pitch from Cussin, 3-1 count. And foul tip down to play. Three two full count now. Cussin delivers. And into fouled into the woods. So, 3-2 full count. Pop up out of play. And that one goes deep into the woods. So another ball lost. Still 3-2 full count. Here in the top of the fourth inning. And swing and a miss, strike three, swinging. I'll bring up Alex West. His last at bat, he struck out looking. I'll be low and inside for ball one. Here comes a pitch from Cussin. Almost the same spot. 2 0 count. Here comes the pitch. 3 0 count. So Cussin's got to work all the way back here. Comes the pitch. And called strike number one as uh, Alex West was looking for ball number four there. Cussin delivers. Now we ball four. So Alex West gets on base for the Gold Knocks. One out, and Alex Ross is at first base. Uh, batting now is uh, Yuki Ishida. I'll tip strike one, number one. Designated hitter for the Golden Hawks. And that will be inside for ball number one. See if uh, West takes off the second here. And no one away for ball number 
too. Two and one count. Cusson delivers. And in the dirt, and West will take off the second. He'll round second, and he'll now be at second base. So, now base it. Could score a run here. Here comes the pitch. Ball number four. So two back-to-back -back walks. So Coach Williams calls time as, and he'll talk to the players. They're going to take a quick break. So you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Batter is James Fitzgibbon, or Fitzgibbons, yep. That'll be strike number one. So one out, man on first and second. Cussin delivers, foul tip. 0-2 count. For Fitzgibbons. Comes the pitch. And fouled at the plate. Still 0 2 count. Cussin delivers. Strike three called. That'll make it two outs. And that will bring up Dom Alosi. His last at bat was last inning. And he had a fly out to right field. I'll be in there for strike one. A one count. Cussin delivers. Low for ball number one. Evens it up one and one. Here comes the pitch. And that will be inside for ball number two. Two and one now. Comes a pitch. Grounder to the second baseman. He'll throw it over first for out number one. Or now number three, excuse me. So uh, that will be, uh, we'll go to the bottom of the fourth inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Kevin Murphy here at the Frontier Baseball Field where we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. We are now halfway through the game. Still scoreless though. Um, so very, as you can say, a defensive game as both of these teams have two good pitchers. We'll see if Frontier can get on first. And up to bat is Jack Common, third baseman for the Red Hawks. His last step out, he struck out swinging. Oh, and that one hits him. So he will get on base. That one had to hurt a little bit. So man on first, and that will bring up Roscoe Palmer, shortstop for the Red Ox. Here comes the pitch, and base hit gets past the shortstop. So a nice one pitch and one hit for Roscoe Palmer as he gets the first hit for the Red Ox. Now bring up Wyatt Eads, the left fielder for the Hawks. Man on first and second. And both steps off the mound for a second. And catcher will talk to the pitcher. Alex West will chat it over real quick. Tomorrow we'll have tennis for you. Maybe volleyball as well. And swing and a miss. No one count. <laughs> Frontier's bench making some noise. And that will be strike number two, O2 two count for Wyatt O2 count. Elson delivers. And fouled out of play. So Still 0-2. <laughs> Some interesting <laughs> chance from Frontier's bench. And again, fouled off. Good job by Eads. Good job by him protecting and swinging at anything close. It's just a little... Behind the pitch. Elson delivers. Off speed outside. Good stop by the catcher. Two and one count. Or one and two, excuse me. That's the first ball of the count. Elson delivers, and that'll be ball two. Evens it up now, two and two. Frontier's bench making some noise now. Elson delivers, and swung on and missed. Strikeout swinging. So that will be the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Grayson Luce, the second baseman. His last at bat, he had a, uh, he 
It was almost like he bunted, and it was to the catcher. So not quite a bunt, but. And nice steal by uh, Jack Conlon as he steals second to third. And Palmer will still be at first. 0-1 count. Comes the pitch. Palmer takes off the second. So. <laughs> that was a ball low. Here comes the pitch. Swung on a miss. Pull his head a little bit. So, two and one count. Two balls, one strike for Grayson Luce. Comes the pitch. And that'll be popped up and out of play. Luckily, didn't hit a car, hits the pavement. Evens up the count two and two now. Here comes the pitch. And good job by Grayson Luce staying alive there. Still two and two. Nelson delivers, swung on and missed from the off speed. So out number two, two back-to-back -back swinging strikeouts. That'll be strikeout one, two, three, four, five, six for Bo Elson. And the batter is Tyler Cusson, so. See if he can Getting those runs. And that was a pretty fast pitch, but that will be high for a ball. <laughs> Definitely some interesting chance again. And that one's towards Cussin. Two and no count. Here comes the pitch. Grounder back to the pitcher. Good job by Elson. He'll throw it over to first for out number three. Good stop by him. So no damage done. We'll go to the top of the fifth inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. That pitch was a was a ball. It's Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Kevin Murphy here. Top of the fifth inning, still scoreless here. I'll be in there first strike. Evens it up one and one, and the batter is um, uh, hit into left field. That one, nice catch! Wyatt Eads with a diving play. It was Jack uh, Dyatch there, the left fielder that had that at bat. So we go to the top of the order. Cooper back with, who's the center fielder for the Golden Hawks is over two on the night. His last at bat flew out to right field. Grounder over to second base. Loose will field it, throws it over to Porter Hall for out number one. Or out number two, excuse me. Two quick outs. That will bring up Chase Earl. He has... He line, he's one for two on the night and has a hit. His last at bat, he had a hit line drive to left field. That one will be ball number one outside for Chase Earl. And Custom will deliver. That one will be into the woods. Comes the pitch. Nice, swing and a miss. One and two, good pitch from Tyler Cushing. Made him chase. One, two count. Comes the pitch from Tyler Cussin. Swing and a miss. Nice quick inning for the Hawks. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth. We'll see if the Red Hawks can get the uh, the bats going here. Uh, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, Kevin Murphy here at the Frontier Baseball Field where we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Still scoreless as it's shut out on both sides. We'll see if the Red Hawks can strike first here. 
But excellent pitching from both pitchers. Uh, Bow Olsen for the Golden Hawks and Tyler Cusson for the Red Hawks. Batter will be Brady Pareda. His last at bat, he flew out to left field in the bottom of the third. Here comes a pitch. Low and inside for ball one. A one. Here comes the pitch. Grounder back to the pitcher. Elson will throw it over to first for out number one. And that will bring up Porter Hall. His last at bat uh, was a walk in the bottom of the third inning. And Elson delivers. Swing and a miss for strike one from Porter Hall. Here comes a pitch. Good eye from Porter Hall. Here comes a pitch. Grounder back to the pitcher again. And he'll flip it over to first for out number two. So that's actually three plays in a row where it's been back to the pitcher. But that will bring up Caden James. It's the last step bad. He struck out swinging, so he's 0 for 1. See if he can get a hit here. Looks like there was a home run in the softball game. My friend's here. That'll be in there. Four. Strike number one. Elson delivers. I'll leave it. Even it up one and one. Two out. See if Caden James can have fun with two here. The pitch fouled off. And into the woods. One, two, count. Here comes the payoff pitch. And low and outside. Four, ball number two, evens it up. Two and two now. Five right, for ball number three, full count, three, two. Good battle by Caden James here. If he gets on, the batter will, will go to the top of the order, Nico Fasuo. Comes a pitch. Strike three called looking. So we will go to the top of the sixth inning. Three up, three down. And uh, still scoreless here. Nothing to nothing. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Can Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Alber, Ben Roberts, Kevin Murphy here at the Frontier Baseball Field where we go to the top of the sixth inning. And batting for the Golden Hawks, leading off is Liam Flynn. And the Golden Hawks bench making some noise. Cousin delivers. Outside for ball number one. So if there's no score after seven, we will go to extras, but I'll be in there for strike one. It's been an interesting game. Good fielding, that, that, that ball was fouled off, may hit a car. I think it luckily bounced on the pavement again. It's a dangerous parking lot. <laughs> and Cussin delivers off speed outside. Two and one count, I believe. Oh, two and two, excuse me. Here comes a pitch. High for ball number three. Three, two, full count. Grounder over to first base. Paul will beat it himself. Good job by Porter Hall. So that will bring up Elson or Bo Elson. He's struck out twice to Cussin. And that one he gets a hold of. Deep left field. Well, almost hit the wall. And he's got a stand up double. Elson Bo. To Deep left center field. So one gun, and that will bring up Alex West. He's 0 for 1. He's also walked and stolen a base. Base hit could score a run. That's in there for strike one. Cousin delivers. Fouled up. This one could stay in play. Not quite. One and two count, I believe. No, oh, just two strikes, so 0 2 count. Cussin delivers, and that one will be outside, so now it's 1 and 2. Comes the pitch. That one's. Could hit a car. Oh, that one did. Ooh. Yeah. That's a little rough. Hit the tree and then hit their car. So a little lucky. One, two count. Grounder back to Cussin. He'll throw it over to first for out number two. But West does his job moving uh, Elson Bow over to third. About two outs and then order. This could be this is a huge at bat here by uh, for Yuki Mishida, the designated hitter. Base hit will score run. 
That one almost hits the high pod pole. <laughs> So fouled out of play. <laughs> oh, one count. It's a big at bat. Strike two called looking. Oh, two count, and this is a, now a, a big pitch here from Tyler Cusson. And that one will be inside ball one. Should it will be swinging at anything close. Got to protect the plate here. Comes the pitch from Cusson. And low for ball number two. Evens it up now, two and two. One run could mean the game here. Almost the same spot. Three, two full count, so. Here comes the pitch, and I'll be low for ball four. Good stop by Caden James. Frontier will take a quick time out. They'll do talk things over. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. That one will be down the line and into the woods. The batter will be James Fitzgibbons. He's over two. His last at bat grounded out to the third baseman. But this is another still huge at bat. I mean, what you could say is, well, what is the goal? Uh, the go-ahead run at third base. Pop up, that one will stay in play. And Luce will make the catch. So Frontier gets out of it. We will go to the bottom of the sixth inning where Frontier looks to uh, take the lead. Still scoreless after the top of the six. They're gonna take a break, we will too. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Kevin Murphy here at Frontier's baseball field where we go to the bottom of the sixth inning and up to bat is Nico Fasulo, the center fielder for the Red Ox. And it is still tied at 0-0. Zero to zero. So this one could be going extras. Who knows? And that one was inside for ball number one. One and no count. Frontier still with the interesting uh, saying. That'll be high and away for ball number two. Two-all count. Here comes the pitch. And that one will be deep into the woods, fouled back. Two and one. Here comes the pitch. And liner into center field. Fasulo gets on. Base hit for Nico Fasulo into center field. That'll bring up Jack Common. In his last at bat, he was hit by a pitch. He had a stolen base and reached a third. So, and Elson steps off. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, if he put the tag on him, he almost could have had him. So, Sula so gets back in time. Here comes the pitch, throws back. <laughs> Checks on Nico a second time. Definitely tough when you have a lefty pitcher and you're at first base. Here comes a pitch. Inside for ball one. Fasulo will take off to second. And he'll get a standing up. Stolen base. Fasulo in scoring position. Uh, one and oh count. Elson delivers. And Conlon lays down the bunt. He'll throw it over to the first. And it gets away from him. Fasulo will score. A, a base hit. A double almost, you could say. Fasulo scores and Frontier takes the lead. An RBI bunt. Wow. Back to the pitcher. So Frontier takes the first lead of the game. And the bench will get a wa quick warning. So. Frontier takes the lead, and the batter will be Roscoe Palmer with Jack Conlon over at second base now. That one will be in the dirt. Conlon takes off the third. So Frontier could have an insurance run at, over at third base now. So a no, uh, one and no count. Deli Nelson delivers, or Elson. Over to third base, foul. <laughs> That'll even up the count, one and one.
Here comes a pitch from Bo. Fly ball right left field. And it'll be out of play. So one, two count. Palmer's last at bat, he had to hit to left field and reach second base. Here comes the pitch from Nelson. Into left field, a base hit RBI from Roscoe Palmer and Frontier takes the lead, two to nothing. <laughs> Palmer is pumped up at first base. And Frontier gets the insurance run. See if they can keep things going. Still no outs, and that'll bring up wide eads. And that'll be called strike one. Elson will, Palmer takes out the second, throws it down, and nice easy steal for Roscoe Palmer. Three hits, three steals, two RBIs, good inning so far for Frontier. That one was a ball, so. Two and one, one and one, I believe. One of those. Palmer takes off the third. And oh, hits the tree, comes back our way. Hits the fence. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was interesting. <laughs> An interesting foul ball. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever see that again. Bo delivers. And. That'll be a ball. Two and two count. Nelson delivers. Palmer takes off the third. Grounder back to the pitcher. He'll go over to first. Palmer will take off to home. He'll be safe. Oh my goodness. Good RBIs. He almost steals home. It looks like. So we'll give we'll give uh, Wyatt Eads an RBI there. And and our sacrificial. So Frontier takes the lead. Three to nothing in the bottom of the sixth. That'll bring up Grayson Loose. Here comes the pitch. And foul out of play. So one out. <laughs> and uh, A 0 and 1 count. Swing and a miss. Pulls his head there, so just got to keep the eye on the ball. 0 2 count. Nelson delivers. And that one will be in the dirt. So. Frontier can keep things going here in the bottom of the six. Grounder over to second base. He'll field it, throws it over to first for out number one, or two, excuse me. Um, so that'll bring up Tyler Cusson. Uh, pitcher versus pitcher. If Frontier, well, Hopkins will be forced to score at least three runs in the top of the seventh inning. Otherwise, they will uh, end up 
Losing the game. That one will be <laughs> inside for ball number one. One and no account. <laughs> That'll be high for ball two. Two and no. Comes a pitch from Elson. That's in there for a strike. Two and one. And here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. That was a little high. Two and two now. And here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Swinging. So all Frontier has to do now is get a one, two, three inning and hold Hopkins for three runs. And uh, we'll go to the top of the seventh inning. You're watching Frontier TV Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Kevin Murphy here in the top of the seventh inning where Frontier is up three to nothing after a great bottom of the sixth inning. So to keep things alive, it'll be Aloisi Dom, first batter. That'll be in for strike one. Hopkins will have to score three runs here in the top of the seventh inning. Now be inside for ball one, evens it up one and one. Softball game still going on and the track meet as well. That will be ball number two, two and one. That'll be outside for ball number three. Three and one. In between innings, I was hit by a ground ball thrown over by one of the fielders. Well, I'll be a, a walk. So, 
Dom gets on base. And bottom the order, Jack Dutch, left fielder for the Golden Hawks. And Cussin checks on him at first. Cussin looks over. And he'll deliver low for ball number one. Comes a pitch. So two balls, no strikes, two and up. Cousin will deliver in there for strike number one. Two and one count. Comes the pitch outside for ball number three. So three and one count. Comes the pitch in there for a strike. Three, two, full count now. Base it or ball four is what um, Jack Deitch is looking for. Comes the pitch. Liner back to Cussin. It's off the tip of his glove, and it'll be a base hit single for Jack Ditch. So. And great job by Tyler Cussin. You will uh, be taken out. And looks like uh, Skrabisky Bannock will come into pitch for the Red Ox. Hopefully he can close this one out. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. They're going to warm up. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Skrbisky Bannock is the new pitcher for the Red Ox. And um, the tying run is now at the plate. It will be top of the order. Cooper Beckwith, 1-0 count. Here comes the pitch. Foul off. And that one's fouled back for uh, one and one count. Starting to get a little chilly out here. Nice breeze, but still sunny. We're just in the shade, so. Fouls that one back, so one and two count. Here comes the pitch. Swing him to miss, strike three, swing in. So out number one for the Red Hawks. And that will bring up Chase Earl. He is one for three on the night uh, with his hit coming in the third inning. Hit to left field. Swing and a miss. Skrbiskabianic delivers, foul up, and out of play into the woods. Skrbiskabianic delivers, off-speed pitch, and that one bounced in the dirt. One, two count. Skrbis Manic delivers. Off speed. That'll be strike three. Called looking. Two back to back strikeouts. And that will bring up Liam Flynn. So the Golden Ox are down to their last life here in the top of the seventh inning. Skrbiski Bannock delivers. That one will be outside with ball number one. Here comes the pitch. Foul up into the parking lot. Hopefully it didn't hit a car. Couldn't quite tell because went behind the Third base dugout. Skrbiski Manic delivers. Outside for ball number one. Ball number two, excuse me. Two and one count. Skrbiski Manic delivers. High for ball number three. Good job. By Liam Flynn laying off that one. Comes a pitch. He got a hold of that one into left center field. That one will drop in. So one run will score. Oh, and the ball gets away from the third baseman. So an RBI. Double for Liam Flynn. And Hopkins is on the board now here in the top of the seventh inning where the tying run is at second base. And the go-ahead. And they're going to intentionally walk um, Elson Bow. Yep, so bases are loaded now because they intentionally walked uh, Nelson Bow. So 
So again, the now the go that makes the go ahead run at first base, and that'll be ball number one. And the batter's Alex West. Inside. Just got out of the way from that one. 2-0 count. Here comes the pitch from Skrbisky Bannock. Lays off that one. 3-0 count. So he's got to work all the way back. That's three on count. It's got to be absolutely perfect. It's called strike as he looks for the walk there. It's got to be right down the middle. Skabriski Bannock will deliver. Grounder to second base. He'll throw it over to first for out number three and Frontier gets out of it. They'll get the win, three to one. And Frontier, I believe, is on a three game win streak. Whew. Another close game here in South Deerfield. An excellent game and an outstanding performance from uh, both pitchers, I'd say, and the defense by both teams, but um. Frontier will win it 3-1. to one. We'll quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Adele Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. You can give my mom and her office a call at 413-774-0100. Uh, again, 413-774-0100. Uh, or visit alberthearing.com um, as well as Gilmore Farrell Insurance, they do, uh, they specialize in commercial and personal, personal insurance, as well as um, Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. We'll, be, we'll see you guys tomorrow with the tennis match. Thanks and goodbye.